In this lesson, we want to do this interesting project. This is a heart that we want to uh, simulate heartbeat with a special shader. We want to break it to explode it, <clears throat> the segment with a poly affix, and then use a spline effector to transfer it to the text, to this text. Transfer to the this text. If you go to the spline with a strings, you can transfer your heart to your text okay let's do this example okay this is our heart and we use a spline text here make it the middle and type tutorial set okay and we want to break this heart and convert it to the all of this exploring pass and we want to uh, simulate uh, uh, heart beats okay so for doing that this is our heart uh, for doing that we use a, a shader effector we have a <clears throat> interesting option in a shading in a shading we have a in a MoGraph bit shader this bit shader, if go into that, as you can see, it simulate bit a heart bit. So we need to play that to see that. Okay, okay, you don't, uh, you cannot see it because you have to turn back. In a deformer, you have to set it to the object or point. And of course, make sure that it assigned to the object. I forget that because. This is in purple. I make the child of that. And as you can see, this is our bit rate. And why is that is beating like that? Because you can change the... Uh, this is because of the... Uh, as you can see, the... <coughs> coordination, the uh, pivot point of that heart. You can change the pivot uh, by enable access and bring it in the middle and now it's beating from the middle so in a shading bit uh, heartbeat or bit shader the position of the axis is very important okay so you see that okay this is our shader okay we want to add another mugraph po uh, poly affix to that in a shader in a shading it's here you can animate it no it's not i think i have to stop it there as you can see this is an bitrate it's changing the black and white and the gray and uh, because of the parameter in a parameter this is an about a scale as you can see it's uh, automatically <coughs> change the settings in a scaling this object based on the black and white code that you see in a shading nice so this is a shader and we want to break it break it and transfer to this spline so we need another effector mugraph poly fx i have to assign them both to this object if you don't want to like this hierarchy you can create a null first bring the object then poly fix it then shader it as you can see you can assign them on the null so this is our object and we want to break it to the polygon and <clears throat> nice okay okay in a poly fix it tells you okay this is an our mode that we have to change it this is an uh, transform and this is an effector The poly affix is assigned to this object and we want to transfer it on a spline. So we can use a spline effector to that. Select the poly affix, spline effector. And a spline effector assigned here in a poly affix. In a spline effector, it tells you, okay, I transfer that broken object to that spline. Which spline do you want? I need this text and 
as you can see, it does not work because you have to some changes. In a poly FX, uh, you can to partial poly, bit rating, an S line, it's nice. In a poly FX, transfer. This is our effector. Oh, uh, sorry, I accidentally uh, creating the rail in this line. I have to be careful about that. And as you can see, it is with a strings. It's uh, deformed from part to one text and bit rating. So the another inter important sex, uh, option here is a segments mode. Use index or you can full spacing or even a spacing. As you can see, it's, uh, com it's completely transfer the heart to the text with this method that you left. So it's very easy. I explained them before, all of them the previous lesson, you can refer them. But in this example, you learn some other option here. It's very easy. And in this case, we don't know, we don't need a field. We can animate in a spline with the strings. As you can see, you can add another effector to that. <clears throat> and here, if you want, you can a parameter change the rotation of the, as you can see, our segments. Animate them, anything that you want. Nice. You can turn off the text, that's better seeing that. So with uh, strings, you can animate this transition. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.